Tonight, there's new help for hundreds of January flood victims still left without a place to live. Meantime, the deadline to apply for federal aid is approaching. Good evening, I'm Jesse Pagan. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. Marcella Lee has the night off. Tonight, CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez talked with an organization working to make homes livable again. She shares the latest on recovery efforts and what those impacted should know. Tonight, we've been speaking with the agencies who are helping the flood victims. They say there's still a lot of work to be done as residents rebuild their lives. The severe flooding we saw in January displaced many families. We're a long-term recovery group, so we're here for the long haul. Elizabeth Jernberg is part of the Global Empowerment Mission, which responds to disasters around the world. Tonight, we met her at a recovery warehouse in San Diego, filled with donations for those impacted by the flooding. We want to make sure that people and families feel comfortable with us, whether, um, for an example, if they're undocumented, they still can come and get uh, case management. She says more than 800 San Diego families are still at hotels. Some flood victims have returned home because they have no place to go. When they're in their homes and they're not supposed to be, we make sure that they have something as simple as a cot so they're not on the ground and a barbecue so they're not cooking inside their home where there's exposed wires. The long-term recovery group VOAD is working to make homes livable again. We will help do the muck outs, clean up anything wet, and we will also do mold suppression first off, and then it goes into different phases after that. They're in need of drywall and insulation to rebuild houses. Today, FEMA announced it's offering rental assistance for people that can't live in their home because of flood damage. A temporary grant is open to homeowners while their homes are being repaired. Renters are also eligible while they look for a new place to rent. As soon as possible. Don't leave it to the last day. FEMA stresses that time is running out for flood victims to apply for aid. You must apply by April 19th to be eligible for any sort of financial assistance. Jasmine Ramirez, CBS 8.